Now I'd like to introduce Neil Primer. Cool thing is, Neil recently moved back to Ohio, Northern Ohio from San Francisco. So he's working remotely with a company called Pix Systems as a senior software developer. I don't think that's his exact title, but he's a senior engineer over there. So please join me in welcoming Neil. All right, uh, good afternoon everyone. I'm actually here to talk to you guys today about one of the cornerstones of modern business culture, which is the meeting. Uh, in actuality, I'm here to talk about the improvements in productivity and team trust and our own team culture that we've actually been able to come up with with one specific meeting that we've had every week. Uh, the trouble started with us realizing we were very underproductive and overworked for the amount of work we are doing. We spent way too much time in Slack, and we didn't sp feel empowered ourselves to make decisions. So we came up with the idea of once a week we have a meeting where we can discuss anything that's on anyone's mind in the team. Uh, this is... Yeah, uh, we actually spent six hours a week average in Slack. Uh, so we set up a safe space meeting. We ensured that everyone was you know, able to have their own voice. We made it, tr uh, made it a priority to make sure that everyone there felt equal in terms of you know, what they're able to bring up, what we actually are making decisions on. Uh, and in order to mitigate some of the issues with Slack, we kind of made a policy of if it can wait till the next meeting, then put it in the document for the meeting. If you feel like you need to collaborate with someone on the decision, pick one person instead of the entire team. And if you don't feel otherwise, then just make the decision yourself. Over the last seven months, we've covered 62 individual topics. Uh, as you can see on the board, we were able to come to immediate decisions on 23 of them, 28 of them we were able to resolve shortly after meeting to discuss them, and the rest were handled externally. In the time since then, we've gone from about six hours a week on average per engineer in Slack to three and a half hours, and we've gone from about five hours per week of time spent in you know, uh, text editor, IDE, terminal, to nine and a half. Uh, one of the other advantages we've got been able to develop out of this is we've had the confidence to advocate for our goals rather than just business priority goals. Um, one of the biggest things that's actually come out of that is we've pretty much rebranded our organization from being an IT operations team to being more of an infrastructure operations team. We've started to provide the ability for other engineering teams to self-service build their own architecture primarily using infrastructure as code, such as CloudFormation. Uh, we've been able to advocate for other goals as well, including a fully functional CI CD pipeline that's built using uh, a lot of containerization technology. Uh, we spent a lot of time pairing with engineers on other teams, helping to reduce our own silos as well as theirs. Uh, it's enabled us to be kind of leading the charge in the migration from our monolith into a microservices architecture. Uh, and we've been able to utilize all of that together to really focus on career growth for us as a team and as individuals. We've been able to use the extra time we've gained to make career development time for each of us. We've started working together as a team to discuss what everyone's career goals are so that we can support each other and build each other up in that way. Uh, we've stopped going to one conference altogether as a team because we've ter determined that's not really the best fit for us. Uh, and combined with the rebranding efforts, we actually feel more confident and able to contribute to engineering efforts across the board rather than just our narrow silo. Uh, We've also been working to combat burnout by temperature checking each other often. Uh, part of that came up as a result of these meetings. Uh, uh, again, back to 
reducing silos. Even within the team, we're working to reduce silos by making sure that we're spending a lot more time pair programming and pair working uh, and working together to architect as a team rather than individuals. We have had some things that have gone less than well. Typically, we have a really large backlog of topics, so not everything gets covered or covered in a timely manner. Uh, and things that require change from outside the team don't always get addressed. Uh, in addition, we do still have places where our individual biases come into play. And, you know, it can be hard to get individuals to agree on something if they're both really on opposite sides of the spectrum. But uh, that's, that's it. Thank you, guys.